Hello, I'm Professor Tony O'Brien, and I'd like to give you a brief overview of our article, Transdermal Buprenorphine and Transdermal Fentanyl Patches in Cancer Pain, a Network Systematic Review. Treatment of cancer pain is based on the three-step World Health Organization Pain Relief Ladder, which uses a sequential approach with drugs of increasing potency for persisting or increasing pain. Goals of pain management are to optimize analgesia and activities of daily living, minimize adverse effects, and avoid aberrant drug taking. For ongoing care, analgesic regimens should be individualized and simplified using the least invasive, easiest, and safest route of opioid administration. Buprenorphine and fentanyl are two opioids for moderate to severe cancer pain. While both are available as transdermal formulations, there are some important pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic differences between them. Transdermal buprenorphine and fentanyl are usually the treatment of choice in patients who are unable to swallow, in those who have poor tolerance to morphine, or in those who have difficulty complying with oral regimens. The aim of this review was to provide additional data regarding the use of transdermal buprenorphine and fentanyl in cancer pain management, particularly in areas such as Asia, where clinical experience with transdermal buprenorphine is low. We systematically review data for the buprenorphine three to four day patch and the fentanyl three day patch, evaluating the extent to which they fulfill recommendations for pain management. Due to lack of studies directly comparing transdermal buprenorphine and fentanyl, we evaluated the data comparing these with other step three opioids in a network fashion. For our literature search, we used PubMed, Embase, and Cochrane Library databases. We also conducted ad hoc searches and explored the reference lists of all the articles included to identify additional uh, publications. The identified studies were then filtered, and a total of 17 studies were included in the final qualitative analysis including six studies directly comparing transdermal buprenorphine and fentanyl, and 11 studies that compared transdermal buprenorphine or fentanyl with other step three opioids. Based on our network systematic review, we conclude that transdermal opioids are safe and effective in selected patients with cancer pain. Both appear to have similar efficacy, but transdermal buprenorphine appears to be particularly useful in patients with renal impairment requiring no dose adjustment, regardless of the stage of impairment. Both appear to have similar rates of adverse events, but transdermal buprenorphine may have a reduced risk of tolerance and has a ceiling effect on respiratory depression without a ceiling effect on analgesia. The transdermal delivery route helps reduce tablet burden and may help compliance. However, further studies directly comparing transdermal formulations of buprenorphine and fentanyl in cancer pain would be useful, and in particular, we note that long-term data are lacking.